Welcome to Cheap Gear, the show about the most affordable audio tools. At the first glance, the Teenage Engineering PO33 is ticking out the boxes. It's a sampler, it's a groove box, it's a calculator, but stop, wait. At the beginning, Loopop made a call to everyone who can hit keys or buttons to create the mostly underestimated piece of music, but only with given samples from the new gear on the iconic Music Nerd Festival on Earth, the Superbooth in Berlin. So everyone who has at minimum only one device with which he can do more than blip and blob is called upon to the show what he can do. Wait. I am late. The first step is downloading Loopop's sound pack and choose the right weapon. Easier said than done. Should I use contact? Mm. Or machine? Or just my door? Um, no, too much professional. It's not only a contest, it's a challenge. So why don't using the most crappy cheap gear that I own to success? So how do I did it? First, you needed to transfer the sample pack file to the PO33 in a very vintage way. Now, noodling all the 16 sounds to find out what is usable for an epic beat. Now find a sound who can deliver a hypnotic melody and a masculine bass line from the wall of M to tame the cheesy bell. Okay, time to record directly in cube basis on my iPad in this case. So now two note polyphony is reached and I'm still having two other sounds to shine. Wow. Copying the pattern makes some pitchings and chain the pattern was the work. Bam. I still can use the last four empty pattern to make it more sophisticated. I don't want to add massive FX to keep it raw and authentic. So I'm only using a roomy V-Rub to make it a little bit more stereo and add some master compression. What should I do now with this epic crappy 8 mono track to get some at the attention? Staela or Stella is my first and only choice to bring this creation to visual life. After 10 minutes of noodling some parameters, I get it. So let's hear the final track called Hyperfast Stone Age Technology Speed of Light Ear and Speaker Annihilator Track.